Hello, everybody. Um, so to get you guys all up to speed, the plan originally for this weekend was to go to uh, Detroit Hadivi's event at Onondaga, uh, which today I think is the 13th of August, maybe the 12th, I can't remember. Um, but they ended up canceling that this Monday uh, due to Roadkill Nights being uh, the same day, and they figured that they wouldn't have enough turnout to do small tire. So, um, I didn't get into Roadkill, and I, Detroit's quite a uh, distance from me, and I, you know, I just don't like going to the city and stuff. Maybe eventually I will, but uh, there is open testing at Lapeer, so we're going to head to Lapeer on a set of radios with all the new parts, hopefully get some answers on if I have a converter or a dump issue, and if the car will actually 60 foot. So stay tuned for that. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, going to be filming a friend's uh, dad's car, uh, big block Camaro um, with some spray. I don't know if he's going to be spraying it or whatever, but going to be helping him get his car tuned in too. Mine mostly just figuring out 60 foot. If I can get it to 60 foot on these radials, which it, I mean the radials should, uh, then I'm gonna try to run an eight if uh, if all pans out. So I figure you guys get to at least see what the what the radials look like on the car. I should have shown that before. I guess instead of just filming my face and then the new shocks. So guys, this was supposed to be kind of just a Lapeer testing video. Unfortunately, uh, as you'll see in the video, it got rained out. Um, so we didn't get enough passes in. And uh, I, you know, the Lapeer testing was to test for the event we went to, I think it was two weeks following, which would be the Great Lakes Slip and Slide. So what I did is just combine those two in the video. I don't really have much from the Slip and Slide either. Uh, but yeah, we'll start out testing it up here and I'll kind of talk you through, you know, the new shocks and what we're doing and the, what adjustments I'm making. All right, let's get to racing. So as you can see from the first run, uh, the car separated way too hard. Um, I put a bunch of clicks in the rebound on the new shocks because I, let, I started at like six clicks and I went to 12, so I doubled it. And that's what we changed for the next pass. I don't think I changed any timing or, or boost or anything. Uh, it did come down in 60 foot, I think a 10th or two. So same thing with this pass, uh, change rebound adjustment, went another four clicks, which would have put me at 16 out of 24 or 22. I can't remember what these shocks have. Um, and then basically let the car cool down, headed back out.
This last pass was a little bit better, but we uh, went another three clicks, which was around 20 overall out of 22. And if I remember correctly, that's the last pass we got and it started raining. Uh, my plans for this, the last pass or the pass after the last pass was to turn the launch RPM up, the boost RPM or the boost amount on the launch up and essentially put whatever it was going to make. I think I had it at like 20 pounds that day and just have no ramp and have it do, you know, build 20 pounds off the brake as fast as it could. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to really test that. So that's kind of the way we left it. The suspension was somewhat working on radials. Uh, I'd have liked to have stuck around and made a couple more adjustments, but didn't really get that option. So uh, yeah, so next up here is the slip and slide. And I put the car in the streetcar class or true street or whatever, whatever they call it. It was a streetcar class, had to be on a DOT tire, which is why I was testing on a radial at Lapeer. And uh, yeah, so first pass. As you can see from the video, I lost uh, about a car, car and a half. Um, that was a drag and drive car. I don't, he said he was heading to an event or something soon, which I don't really know what's coming up right now, but uh, I just turned it down too much. Um, so kind of a, an odd thing happened. I went there to be in True Street, right? So I had to be on a DOT tire. And I've always wanted to go to Onondaga on a radial because a lot of people that I talk to and like bounce ideas off of, like Derek from Slower Than You and uh, my buddy Brian uh, has said, you know, the car separates a lot. You should try a radial on that surface because there's rubber down. And I've kind of blew it off and thought, you know, I don't really want to go down there and just spin. And the car really did work. I was just uh, way too conservative with the off the trailer tune. And uh, so what happened, a friend of mine's dad has built a Camaro that's a big block Camaro. And he unfortunately uh, hit the guardrail it, he was bought in a small tire, hit the guardrail, but um, how it panned out was the guy that he raced jumped, so officially he won, but his car wasn't usable anymore because the rim was broke and stuff. And uh, so I asked the organizer, Jasper, if I could take his place in small tire, and this is the result of that. So as you can see, uh, we got a win. I was super happy. Um, it seems like this car has just been fighting me for the last, I don't even know how long. And it felt like I was actually going in the right direction, finally. And uh, yeah, I was just happy. Like I didn't even care if I would have, like the pass was good. It felt like it was moving. And actually it hit the boost cut at 35 pounds at the end because I, I tried the scramble to see if it was going to 
uh, pick up or if it was gonna hold essentially because I was out front and it hit the boost cut and shut off it, or like cut ignition and I, w I thought it blew up but I didn't hear like hammering or marbles or anything so I was like what is going on I looked down it still had oil pressure and then I, I revved it at the top of the track I'm like hmm then I finally thought about it yeah it hit it hit 35 pound boost cut uh so for the next pass I raised that to 40. <laughs> Uh, I didn't end up getting to make that pass. Uh, I raised my RPM on my launch, and because of how I have the Terminator X set up for the bump, um, I have my thumb uh, on the shifter basically for the uh, trans brake button, and I got my bump on the steering wheel. Well, I, I was always taught not to like grab onto the shifter because it makes your thumb reaction slower. So I have my thumb on the shifter like this, which unfortunately I didn't get any film of this because my GoPro had already died. When I bumped, I didn't ever mess with the bump adjustments and it was so violent it ripped my hand off and I jumped. So. Lost to a good friend of mine, Joey, and congratulate him to going to uh, the final three. Brandon Mark uh, actually won the small tire section of it, and then his wife Ashley won the um, True Street or Street version of that race, which I really wish I would have got to race her because her car is fast. And they're just cool people. I talked to Brandon on the starting line before the race. It was really cool to just BS and uh, talk about it. And like he was saying, you know, the track really needs scraped. And I, I definitely agreed because the track was pretty sticky. Uh, but a lot of the rubber was peeling up because it was so thick. And it didn't really get hot enough to where it became a real big problem. And they did water burnout. So it didn't get like really gummy and gooey. So yeah, all in all, great experience. Uh, I want to thank all you guys. I know a lot of people were encouraging me on the last video when I was kind of just, I was just over it. And uh, I did, I took like a little break um, between the last video I posted last week and this one. And we're in Labor Day weekend right now filming this. And uh I just I feel like I'm on the upside I got some more stuff I want to change and it's just never ending I've got a short video I'm gonna put out for you guys where I kind of want a little bit of criticism construction constructive criticism and maybe some like guidance and what I need to do um, I am kind of torn between two options and I'll talk about that in the next video but I just ultimately want to say thank you to everybody who follows and supports me because without you guys uh there's times i just wanted to just take the car shove it in the, in the bar and just leave it dark for i don't know how many months you know unfortunately racing is a lot of work it is fun at some points but uh this year's been a lot more struggle than it has been fun and i'm glad that it's finally turning around so I'll see you guys on the next video. I look forward to you guys' input on that. And as always, thank you for watching.